All right, everybody, we are talking about Attila today in Rise of Kingdoms. If you guys are new here, this is Gains Gaming. We make Rise of Kingdoms content, and today we are talking about whether or not Attila is going to make a run back into Rise of Kingdoms as one of the open field metas. Now, Attila, when he first came out, oh my goodness, Attila Takeda was just insanely strong. And it's still a strong march. You can still feel this in 2024. But are we going to see Attila become meta again? Now, that's a question I've been asked many, many times because of the introduction into smite damage coming into Rise of Kingdoms just recently. And, you know, we have one of the best commanders in the game. In my opinion, the best commander in the game, Luce. And he does smite damage. He does not do skill damage. He does smite damage. And this is increased by normal attacks. And so you are seeing people using Luce and Attila as rallies, as counter rallies, especially in KVKs where you can change the troop type of commanders and use Luce with cavalry. Like, oh my goodness, Luce and, you know, Attila. I'd probably max Attila if I was able to do that. And so, you know, Luce is the best commander in the game right now, and he does smite damage. And if you are able to run Luce and Attila using all cap stats, you know, that's probably the best march in the game right now. And so when we talk about Attila and whether or not he will be back to meta in Rise of Kingdoms, I think we definitely could see this happen. And the main reason why is because we are getting new cavalry coming into the game very, very soon. And with the introduction of smite damage, you know, we have new commanders that just got released into the game as well of new engineering commanders that do smite damage. So we can see right here, Gahamada, I believe that's how you say that. He does ranged smite damage. Now this is brand new. We've never seen ranged smite damage before. And then I believe the other one also does ranged smite damage. This is Gonzalo de Cordaba, I believe. In other words, this is, uh, what's his name? That guy from Shrek, <laughs> Lord Farquaad. Uh, you know, I, I totally think he looks like Lord Farquaad. I saw a lot of memes about that too. But both these new commanders are doing smite damage. A lot of the new commanders that we've seen coming into game are doing smite damage. You know, like three of the last like six commanders that we've gotten in game have been smite damage. And so, you know, I definitely expect the next cavalry are pretty likely to come with smite damage. And with that being said, Attila, he is going to be insane. Now let's go over his skill kits because a lot of people forget what Attila actually does. So his first skill. For the next four seconds, this commander's troop deals 30% more normal damage. You can already see where I'm going with this. And 30% more counterattack damage added onto the normal damage bonus. Now whenever their troop launches a basic attack, it has a 50% chance to reduce the target's attack by 50% for 2 seconds, cooldown of 2 seconds. Now you can see why he would be so good with anybody that does smite damage. Because this is basically, like if this was skill damage, he would be broken. Because a lot of commanders do skill damage, but not a lot of commanders do smite damage. So basically a 30% bonus to smite damage, which is crazy. That's why he's so good with Luce if you're able to switch Luce into cavalry because they're like a match made in heaven. Now his second skill. If this commander's troop is attacking a city or stronghold, their troop deals 5% more damage. Obviously, this is irrelevant for the open field, but, you know, if he comes back with a new smite damage partner, you might have a new rally coming as well. Like, Luce does a lot of damage, and if we have, like, a single target damage cav commander coming in the game, we could definitely see a new meta with cavalry rallies being smite damage. And then we also have, whenever their troop launches a basic attack, has a 10% chance to reduce the target's defense by 25%, cooldown to 3 seconds. This is also pretty substantial when it comes to rallying. Now his third skill. This commander's troop takes 15% less skill damage, but also deals 30% less skill damage. Now this doesn't really matter unless you are using Nevsky as a secondary. That's what kind of sucks about using like a Till Nevsky for rallies, is that your Nevsky is doing substantially less damage. But if you have smite damage... This skill is all upside. 15% reduction in skill damage taken, but no downside whatsoever, unless they change the description of the skill being less skill slash smite damage. I don't know if they do that or not. I hope not, but that would just be busted. And then 
cav units in their troop gain an extra 15% march speed and 40% attack. Like that's that's crazy. With smite damage, this skill is just insane, dude. Now here, if the commander's troop contains only cav units, which it will, whenever it launches a basic attack, it has a chance to gain a bonus to damage dealt for two seconds of up to 50% and of up to 100%. Now, obviously, this is only for two seconds, but that's still pretty substantial. And, you know, obviously, 10 second cooldown is quite a long time. But when it comes to rallies, this would be you know, pretty insane when you think about it. Now, his expertise. This commander's troop is immune to being silenced. Their troop deals 20% more normal damage to troops with less than 50% units remaining. Again, insanely strong in rally situations. And whenever the troop exits combat, it gains 50% march speed for three seconds. Now, the important thing here is the immunity to silence. Like, that's really important for the open field because, you know, you have Guan Yu out there. And I've made videos on Guan Yu, and that's really his only utility right now is his ability to silence. And maybe we'll see more commanders with the silence ability in the future, or maybe they'll keep that unique to Guan to keep him relevant. And the extra 20% bonus to normal damage, obviously to troops with less than 50% remaining, but still, that's pretty substantial. That's like, if you look at this as skill damage, like you see how important that is, how insanely strong that is, because that's how you need to see it when it comes to smite damage, is that normal damage is a bonus to smite damage. And so that's why Attila paired with a new smite damage commander, I think will completely change the game. I think, you know, the smite damage will be the new meta in Rise of Kingdoms, that any commander that has smite damage, you need to get because they are going to be insane. And so, you know, I'm I'm keeping my, my mind open with Attila because, you know, obviously I don't have that much invested in him. You know, I can put one more skill into him. I'm waiting to see like a heroic anthem to see if either of these two get the bonus instead of this one uh, before I put a skill in. But like I might have to invest in Attila if we see the new smite damage commander coming in and is just insane like a new luce i really have to like rethink my my pairs then um you know because i already run two cab marches and you know i have nevsky i have hookah bing and i have joan prime basically the three best cab commanders in the game right now and you know if i have to rethink one of those commanders for a new smite damage commander you know maybe maybe i'll need to do that but will attila be meta in 2024 very well could be maybe not for open field depending on how good the secondary is. But for rallying, I mean, we might see a uh, revitalization of Attila. And not Attila Takeda, but Attila and whoever the new potentially smite damage commander is coming into Rise of Kingdoms. So I'm curious to see what you guys think about Attila and whether or not you guys think that he will be making a recovery in Rise of Kingdoms. You know, I actually made a very similar video to this uh, with Pakal when... Tariq was coming into the game and people called me crazy because I was like, I think Pakal is coming back and people were like, no way. Pakal will never come back as a rallier. And sure enough, Pakal came back as a rallier, you know, not in the open field with Pakal Tariq, but Pakal and Tariq for rallying is one of the best infantry rallies in the game. And so, you know, I'm not saying I am right all the time but i was right on that and i might be running this too so let me know what you guys think in the comments below on whether or not you guys think attila might make a comeback into rise of kingdoms i'm pretty optimistic and i think it'd be interesting to see what exactly happens if attila does make a comeback into the rally meta but thanks for checking out the video guys have a great rest of your day